is pulling up on his motorbike. So it's time to hand over, ladies and gentlemen, to Podge and Raj. <laughs> You know, I have to say, fair play to you for turning up all the same in the name of charity. Give a round of applause. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, that's for Absolutely. Absolutely. Because honest to God, do the words not, do the words lamb and slaughter not mean nothing to you? <laughs> <laughs> I've already messed up the other two. No, well, don't forget, no, well, no, well, don't don't forget now, you guys did me the honour of turning up on the Late Late Show. Yeah. So when you invite me, the least I can do is return the compliment. Oh, very good. Oh, fierce manner, but <laughs> 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 Now listen, the Late Late Show now, seriously, we're here to interview you. Okay. How many years have you been doing it? This is my ninth season. Are you joking? Mm -hmm. well, so what year did you start? Mm, subtract now from 1980, 98. 90. Do you know, that's a coincidence, because well, that's exactly the same year we stopped watching. <laughs> <laughs> what? Do you like that? Huh? Come here, you walked into that one. Come here, do you think you'll ever get the hang of it? No. <laughs> oh, no, that's an honest answer. That's, a, that's another reason I'm here, because <laughs> you guys are now masters of chat. Yeah, thanks very so much. So you're the guys who can teach me to do it. This is true. I'm, here, I'm here to learn. Well, hope you learn something now. Yeah. Now, come here, you did the Today Tonight back in the 80s. Yes. I thought you was good at that. I know, you weren't good at that in fairness. You were good at that. Politics. No, but no. before that, you were Ireland's very first sex correspondent. Get out, what? Dick, get out, get, get out. out. No, 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 it's no. True. Don't tell me that's true. It's not true. No, it is. Are you sure? Why have you? Well, we should have a look at this oh, then. Okay. You it's a bend yourself was... after this, Sonny. In the home, the husband was the boss. He expected to be obeyed by his wife as much as by his children, and she seemed to exist just to serve her husband. Indeed, at that time, many women married not for love, but to avoid becoming a spinster and all that went with it. Yes. Yes. What? God, I was good. Yes, indeed. Right. You were good. I was you were good. good. Where did it all go wrong? Pat St. Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> they were quite slick there yeah. back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. What year was that? I haven't a clue. Sometime in the late 70s. Late 70s, right, right. Yeah. What sort of money were you earning back then? <laughs> oh, a vulgar fraction of what I earn today. It's true. Mm -hmm. Do you know, it's a known fact that today you are RTE's top earner. Close to a million? Oh, you are? Yeah. Does it get in your tits, though, when people are saying things like, Jesus, Pat Kenny earns how much? He should be paying me to watch that shite. <laughs> <laughs> you don't take that from the shit that. It happens. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> you can't get into a taxi without somebody saying that. Ah, you can't? No. No. Come here, what do you make of... Tubbers? <laughs> <laughs> He's just out there, you know that. I, I can't speak freely. Huh? Oh, right, I got you, I got you. You're rubbing our apples again. <laughs> No, he's a good mate. Is, 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 is he? He's a good mate of mine, yeah. We live in the same parish and we have a drink and talk about things. God, no, could you imagine from Jesus? Yes. <laughs> could you imagine that? The pair of them together? Oh, God. Oh, it's so fun. Oh, 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 God, God. I'm worn out. Just draining the energy from me, just thinking. Oh. Jeez, we'll have to put the kettle on, brother. Oh, come on, come on, come on. All right, okay, up, okay. Up. okay. Who's the sexiest guest? Sexiest guest. Well, Daniel O'Donnell springs to mind immediately. <laughs> uh, um, we uh, saw Naomi. you drooling over Denise Van Outen, in fairness. Yeah, she was she was very tasty. Mm. Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell. Oh, lovely. Oh, really. Gorgeous, mm. yeah. But, I mean, it's the person within that I concentrate on. Ah, on. bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> you were drooling over them. <laughs> See, you're sniffing after the next... Oh. <laughs> I can't blame you, Pat, now. God, yeah, oh, you're only a human so. man. Yeah. Listen. I don't know now, Fishy. Yes, no, I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I am. Where did the nickname Pat the Plank come from? <laughs> <laughs> Who came oh, up with that beauty? That, that was Eamon Dunphy. No! Eamon Dunphy. At a time when we were at war. Oh, yeah. right, got you. And uh, it kind of stuck, unfortunately. Yeah. Does it go against the grain, does it? <laughs> you must pine for the days when... <laughs> when you were a serious journo. <laughs> Because you need oh. balls of steel to oh. withstand those balls giants, of, yeah, you know, yeah. Are well, you bored with them, Pat? With what? what those giants. Like the, the wood puns. Yeah. I mean, what would you give the first one? Last, last. Let's face it. What? I'm not the puppet around here, okay? Oh! Oh! oh. 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 
Well, you know what, in fairness, after meeting you now, we know there's more behind the veneer. And <laughs> 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 any more jobs like that, we might have to give you a good decking. You know what, I know tomorrow I'm going to pine for you guys. Oh, oh, there you go, listen, no. well, let's put all that behind us, right? Yeah. All that behind yeah. us. That bit of slugging. Bit of crack now, Pat. Let's have a wee game. What do you think? A little game. Okay. To be off for that. I'm off for the game. Good. Now, Pat, oh. you've interviewed many, many people on live TV, yeah. so you've had your fair share of gaffes. Yeah. Yes. So it's time to see if you can do better second time around as we play. Blankety-blank! 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 Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed! Okay. Yes. Ah, What's the game? Blankety-blank! Now, on your second Late Late Show, you forgot the name of the author you were introducing. Okay? Now, can you name her now? It's... Patricia... Plank. Plank. Cornwell. Cornwell. Let's, let's have a look. Will you welcome, please, our first guest tonight, who... who and um, I'm just Trisha, Trisha Cornell. Trisha, I forgot your name. Woo! Oh! I'll tell oh. you guys. That was tough. I was sweating that yeah. night. I had not. Say you it were. just was blankety blank, absolutely. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, right, let's do another one. Another one. Right. We're having the crack, right? We're having okay. the crack, Pat, right? Don't pretend, oh, Pat. Fatties around the country went mad when you said <laughs> you'd pay 10 grand for her not to get out of bed. Uh -uh. Right. So uh, who was it? Dawn Plank. Dawn Plank. French. Dawn French, Dawn let's French. see. French. Yes. Yes. Dawn. Yes. Dawn, I'll give you 10 grand not to get out of bed. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. It seems like a good idea in your head. Yeah. <laughs> But when it came out, it just... Oh. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God, we'll have to move on. Listen, oh. here's another one. Name the crazy great dame who forced you to dance in her kinky boots. I think you might know this yeah. one. I, I know this one. Bridget, Bridget Plank. Plank. What is it? Nielsen. Yes. Bridget Nielsen, let's see. Yes. Sit <laughs> 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 down, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to play along with her, though. Yeah. You just have to play along with it. Well, there's always um, two things going on at the same what, time. What? One is you're thinking, this is the most embarrassing yeah, moment of my life. Yeah. But the other, the other thing that's going on in your mind is yeah. nobody's switching off <laughs> when yeah, you're doing something true. like this. It's yeah. kind of a parallel thing. But Pat, and did no one did. tell you? Did no one tell you to wiggle your face between her boobs? That's it. You see, that's what we did. And she can't, it can't a right down. She's like a puppy, she's like yeah. a puppy dog then. Yeah. Can't go down. Now, Pat, listen, can we talk about motorbikes? I think we should. You see, yeah. there's a cool side to Pat Kenny that you lot out there, if you all think Pat's a bit square, a bit of a no, Pat Kenny rides the two wheels of a BMW cool, cool bike into work every day. That's right. Oh, yeah. You mean, Sir Gable had the heart. You remember that? Yeah. Let's have a look at that. There he is. Oh, look at that. He's cool. Wow. Well, let's have a look at Pat's bike. Yeah. <laughs> Pat, Pat, did Fisher Price make that? <laughs> well, Pat, I have to say, you know what? Fair play to you. Fair play to you for coming on in, in on your day off day and off. taking it on the chin for charity. Ireland's Alan Partridge, everybody. Pat 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 Right back to you, Tubbers! Tubbsy! Tubbatino! Tubbsy! Tubbs! Big Teddy Tubbers! Okay! He's a horrible little man! Anyway, thanks to Father Ron, and I have to say, round of applause for Pat Kenny for being a good sport there. It was a good laugh. And he played that very, very well. All in the name of Telephone. It's time to take another commercial break, but we'll be back in a couple of minutes.